Hey, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I'm making a quick video that shows how I take B-roll that's shot in the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K cameras and prepare them to be color graded inside of DaVinci Resolve. It's a real uh, quick and simple process that's easily repeatable for every time you uh, do your color grading. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this is the process I use for grading uh, B-roll footage out of the Pocket Cinema 4K. So the first thing I do obviously is I import the footage onto my storage drive, which in this case is my uh, Crucial 4 terabyte SSD. So that's where I keep all of my clips. I then I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve, open up a new project, go to my media tab, go to the footage that I want to import into my project and drag it into my my bin there. So then I'm going to go to my gear down here, lower right hand corner, open that up, I'm going to go to camera raw. Now on, on the raw profile I want to select Blackmagic Raw you can use full resolution, half resolution, quarter or eighth resolution, depending on the power of your computer. Uh, next thing, the decoding, decode using, I'm going to select the project. And then under color science, I want to choose Gen 5. So that's good. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to my edit tab. I'm going to drag my footage that I want onto my timeline. I'm going to select a clip that I want to use to grade. Go to my color tab. Select color space transform. Drag that onto a node. Under input color space, I'm going to select Black Magic Design Wide Gamut Gen 4 slash 5. Under my input gamma, I'm going to select Black Magic Design Film Generation 5. Under my output color space, I'm going to choose my Rec 709, which is what I'm trying to get to. And then finally, under my output gamma, I'm going to select Gamma 2.4. And then that's going to give us our B-roll to our initial grade. So this gets us to a Rec. 709 color space, allows us to take this and create a grade. So um, finally, under gamut mapping method, we can select saturation and compression. We can go over here to our camera roll. We can select clip. And then now this gives us really a lot of power here because we can change our white balance. We can change um, our ISO, so we want to go to 400. So there's a lot of things we can do here inside of DaVinci Resolve now because we because of the fact that we recorded in B-roll. Change our color temperature. We can change our tint. We can even exchange or uh, change our exposure. Really powerful uh, editing uh, capabilities here. We can, under our gamma control, we can boost up our saturation a little bit. Increase or decrease our contrast as we see. Modify our midpoint. We got a highlight roll off we can impart. And so this is, again, now this is baked in. Everything I just chose right here under my camera roll, that, there's no node for that. The, the, turning on and turning off this node does not reset or deselect these settings that I just adjusted. They are baked into the file. So that's just, we got our, our Rec. 709, we've done some adjustments. Then we can work on maybe adding a, another node and using a a LUT, dollar LUT back, 
a little bit. And there we go. So we went from that to that and just, you know, uh, basically you could do it less than a minute. Once I start grading uh, or pulling footage in, I do the, this setup here in a matter of, of a minute uh, by the time I'm going from importing my footage to actually editing on the timeline. So let's see. So I'm making adjustments here to my So right about here is where I get my color right. So I would delete all that. Basically, this is the start of my footage. I got my exposure and here. We go. There we are. So, so that's this, this is the cine lens. This is what I would then actually is a better lens start using as my edit. So outdoor because um, I can control. See, night we got nice blues up here in the sky. Clouds are white. We got some good good contrast. We, we got uh, our our darks, our blacks are really coming through, and the shadows they're not crushed. But there's no information there so this is actually a pretty good edit and that's all off again all off of that as our starting point so um that's how um i get a a start on my uh, my color grading on b-roll footage and that's it there's really nothing more to it than that these the, again these these processes that i'm showing are repeatable for every session you don't have to do it one way for this one and that way for another. As long as you are using this camera in B-roll, you'll be able to reap, and you got your, your exposure uh, pretty good, you'll be able to use this method uh, to get your color grade started. If you, have, if you have any questions or comments about what I showed here today, please don't have it, hesitate to leave them in the comment section below, or you can always reach out to me at bbuck822 at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, hope you guys go out and make some amazing content. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye now.